This is the MCTV Weekday Update. Welcome to the MCTV News Update. I'm Uvia Bikomo. Yesterday, the Lubbock Animal Shelter announced it will reopen to the public on a limited basis to slow or stop the spread of the coronavirus. According to the Lubbock Animal Shelter, all adoptions and stray intakes will have to be pre-scheduled starting next week. The shelter will be open Mondays to Fridays from 9 a.m. to 6.15 p.m. and only 15 people will be allowed in per hour. A Lubbock pharmacy is creating hand sanitizers for sale. Twin Oaks Pharmacy on 34th Street has created its own hand sanitizer being manufactured out of Regional Health Mart Pharmacy in Crosbyton. The hand sanitizers come in two different sizes and are made with 75% alcohol. The pharmacy is also giving 270 bottles to law enforcement in Lubbock. The hand sanitizers are being sold at four other Twin Oaks family locations across the South Plains. The Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center School of Pharmacy has produced 25,000 vials of viral transport media, or VTM, to help with the COVID-19 testing. VTM is a sterile tube with one or three millimeter of cell culture media that contains a broad spectrum antibiotic and antifungal agent. It is needed to protect the virus samples obtained from nose or throat swabs and is important to keep the samples from degrading in transit to diagnostic facilities as any changes could lead to incorrect testing results. The vials will be loaded on a truck to be shipped to San Antonio for a statewide distribution to rural communities. Since March, the team has produced 48,000 vials of VTM, benefiting communities across the state. Nearly two months after stay-at-home orders were enacted across the Bay Area in California, Twitter is allowing some of its employees to make the work-from-home shift a permanent move. Yesterday, Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey alerted employees they will be allowed to work from home permanently, even after local shelter in place orders are lifted. Employees whose jobs require physical presence will not be able to work from home. Twitter was one of the first Silicon Valley tech companies to allow its workers work from home alongside Facebook, Google, Amazon, and others. Recently, Facebook and Google announced its employees will be working from home for the rest of the year. Several nations that have been hailed for curbing the spread of the pandemic are now finding new clusters of coronavirus after lifting lockdowns. Singapore was once a model for its speed and efficiency in tracing the contacts of infected people, but cases have increased to more than 23,000 as the virus spreads in dorms for foreign workers. Officials in Wuhan recently celebrated its emergence from more than two months in lockdown, but after six new cases were confirmed this week, it said it will test all 11 million of its residents. And in South Korea, which has been praised for its contact tracing technology, more than 100 new cases have emerged after an infected man visited bars and clubs in a Seoul nightlife district, days after some restrictions were relaxed. Officials from the World Health Organization are urging governments and the public to maintain extreme vigilance while easing restrictions and that ignoring precautions could inevitably lead to more infections. That's a look at today's news for MCTV. I'm Uvia Bikamu.